We are one week into the stabilization phase, so we thought it would be useful to give everyone an update on the overall situation. We continue to monitor the infection situation closely. Up to now, we haven't really experienced the full impact of the tightening measures that were introduced in the stabilization phase because it takes at least one week for any such measures to see results. But already, uh, we are seeing some signs of slowing in the rate of transmission. Just to illustrate, on 3rd of September, we had 210 local community cases. Now, by community cases, I didn't include dormitory cases because you know, they, they are in a different category, and later on, I'll invite Dr. Tan to say more about them. But look at community cases without the dormitory cases for the time being. 3rd September, we had 210. By 9th of September, it doubled to over 420. So that took six days to double. Seven days later, on 16 September, it doubled to over 840 cases. Again, a doubling at about a week. Then on 28 September, which was about 12 days later, it more than doubled slightly to 1,700 cases. So the doubling time has become longer. And now we are hovering around 2,000 local community cases a day. So there is some, you know, looking at the data, it would suggest that the doubling time of cases has started to take a bit longer from a week to about 10 days now. And we will continue to monitor the situation over the next few days to see what impact the new measures have in slowing down the rate of transmission. To be clear, as we have stated before, we do not expect the new measures to help to bring down the total number of daily cases. Of course, no wave will last forever. Eventually, at some point, the wave will crest. It's hard to tell when this will happen or what the, new, what the peak will be. We consulted uh, experts um, from our universities on, on this matter, and there are a range of different views. Some think that the wave can peak at about 5,000 new daily cases or slightly above that. Some think that it will go much higher to around 10,000 daily cases. So there, there is a range of uncertainty. You know, no model can predict with absolute certainty what the epi curve will look like in the next few weeks. But it just simply means that we have to be prepared for these range of possible outcomes. Whatever the curves, whatever the new cases are in the coming weeks, we just have to use this time to have enough capacity to deal with the wave of cases and to review, update, and simplify our healthcare protocols, as Minister Ong said just now, so that people can understand and can comply with the measures. So that's what we are doing during this period. Of course, when we see such a surge of cases during these few days, several thousand a day, I know it can be quite worrying. And, and you, you have two sorts of very sharp reactions from different people. One group says, look, it's so high. Let's quickly lock down and bring cases down. Another group says, well, this is completely to be expected. After all, we talked about being, living with COVID, so move forward. The reaction to the first group that wants to tighten further is, look, we have gone beyond that point. We have already said because of our high vaccination rate, we are no longer focusing solely on headline numbers. Our focus is on the people who are seriously ill, and to make sure that our healthcare system is able to take care of them. That remains our focus. So let's not get too carried away by the headline numbers or too anxious or fearful about those numbers. Our response to the second group who wants to continue opening up is this. Please be patient. Our overall strategy to reopening has not changed. But this is the first time we are experiencing such a big wave, and it is causing tremendous stresses on our healthcare system. All this takes a little bit of time, and that's why we are putting in place these measures in the stabilization phase, so that we can get all these things ready.